Hello combatants and uh, welcome back to Joyless Gaming and Mortal Kombat 11. And I thought I would just throw a little quick guide up for augments since I've been spending some time recently fiddling around with these. I'm not going to explain most of them in detail, just generally what you want to use them for. And I'll just... I'm not really going to look at Jinsei Essence, they are specific to each character. And once you understand the other ones, these make... A lot of sense anyway. But, uh, yeah, this soul slot is uh, mainly about currencies when playing single player modes. Uh, I personally don't use these very much, but that's because I've got so many currencies already. But if you're new to the game, if you've just come into the game with Ultimate, you'll probably want to use these on your gear slots because you can get, well, you can get gear XP to level up your gear faster, but you can get, uh, Account XP, I think, as well, or mostly gear XP, but you can get extra souls, you can get extra coins for doing certain acts in game. Uh, you can get extra hearts, you know, basically, you can make it so you can convert some of them, yeah, convert souls into coins instead. I don't think you would want to do that because souls are something you don't want to have. But it's basically all about grinding out the currencies faster in various ways. And next to the Nether Flame. This is all about boosting your offense. It's actually really quite straightforward. Some of these you don't want to use, but this is not a guide to which ones you want to use, but it'll do things like, yeah, make you move faster, makes you do more damage, makes, yeah, throws damage, special moves damage, normals damage, all sorts of stuff, make you recover your meter faster, all sorts of things like that. Quite useful in general to help you get through towers. I use Nether Flame quite a lot and order crystals quite a lot because this is the opposite of nether flame this stuff reduces damage you take gives you uh, extra health some of them give you some of them give you armor this is very useful having armor clad because the ai just comes at you so you can armor through their moves it's very useful uh time to flawless block i don't know flawless blocking the ai is kind of pointless cuz you never really know what they're going to do but lots of useful defensive things. Oh, stealing life. Yes, that's also quite nice as well. And also health recovery is there somewhere. You get more health and there's a health recovery somewhere. Yeah, these two I use quite a bit. Chaos energy. Now, I don't use these, but these actually do have some practical application. They have to do with modified damage effects, which I'm not entirely certain if they apply to consumables that you use in the tower, but they do apply to moves in your own character's move set, which is hard to know because what you have to do, and I'll show you. Okay, so you have to load into a match in the towers and then look up your move list and it will see down the bottom, down here, if you can see where my mouse is, it will tell you extra things like damage types like, there you go, that one does fire damage. The most, most basic attacks are going to do physical damage. And throws and stuff will, but... His back throw does fire damage. If I... If you look at the animation for it... There you go, fire damage. So... You'll have to go through your move list to find out what does... Different damage types. And your special moves, you know, the, the, the things that get applied to it. Uh, you know, like, yeah, Burning Spear, it does, th these things do fire damage. What have you. But that's basically how the, where the damage types come into play. Yeah, so the Chaos Energy, what they do is they modify those damage types. They change them, they add effects to them. They're, there's only a few. There's like, you get resistances or dealing more and have there's certain effects tied to each of them. So magic attacks have a chance to slow fire has a chance to apply a burn, ice has a chance to freeze, and what have you. And so there's just a few effects, but it's spread over all the different damage types that you can have. And as I said, I'm not entirely certain if they apply to consumables as well, but they probably do, considering that you get the resistances and those things apply those effects when you play the towers. And finally, dragon blood. Now these ones are a bit strange, and... In general, you probably won't find yourself using them much. 
but see, well, I mean, look at this. These these ones don't have levels. I should have mentioned that with all the other ones. They have levels. They're all level 1 to 4. That's just about the magnitude of the effect. Uh, you've got, uh, yeah, level 4 gives you 20, but level 1 gives you 5. So, but the Dragon Blood, yeah, this like this one here, converts poison damage you deal and take into physical damage. So, it this is just modifying some of the stuff that the tower does. So, if you have a character that does two damage types and you want to convert them all to one damage type and then give yourself augments to buff how much damage you do with that damage type then that would be a way to go but the, these are all sorts of different effects they're not consistent uh yeah changing the way your gear uh, your gauge works cannot be flawless blocked things like that these these ones are nice and neat uh, crushing blows once per round but they do less damage this one is nice crushing blows no this this one gives you easy crushing blows but you don't get a fatal blow but you've got easy crushing blows which sounds an awful lot <laughs> like a fun way to play the game uh so there are all sorts of different things but you'll have to go through them individually to find ones that suit what you want to do otherwise they're a bit strange and uh pretty much that's it but the uh other thing to mention is, of course, how to use them, how to apply them. You go to your gear, and you've got Edit Augments. Obviously, you can pick the slot, but the Change Type, I, it took me a while to find this, the Change Type prompt that's there allows you to, since they changed the way the gear works, convert it to whichever slot type that you want to use. So that you can have gear pieces that have all defensive or all offensive or you know just a mixture across the things you can't change the uh, Jinsei augments that's always the third slot it's always the third slot of every piece of gear and uh, yeah that's that's pretty much it it's you might want to look at the things and specifically find ones that you want uh, personally I, I find a useful thing that is selfish mercy let you repeatedly grant mercy to give yourself gear XP that helps level up to the Jinsei uh, socket at the end just to get there faster you play towers and you just keep giving mercy just keep giving mercy over and over again the downside of that is that you still have to worry about the time and you can eventually lose by timeout if your opponent <laughs> comes back with more health than you have but basically I hope that was it's a very quick introductory guide. It's not which ones to use, but you can find which ones you want. Pick the ones like these for currencies that you don't have or that you want more of, that you want to acquire faster, or that give you the effects that you want to use to make it more playable in the towers. And uh, as ever, I hope this was useful or informative, educational, something. It probably wasn't entertaining, but uh, that's all right. <laughs> Bye for now.